hamburger, fries, and a nice cold Coke. Life doesn't get much better. Well, it does, of course, but for those five to 10 minutes, you're pretty well satisfied. Let me warn you though from the outset, that could change after seeing this video. Today, we're gonna to talk about Coke, what's actually in it and what it does to your body. Welcome to Vital Signs, a healthy mind, body, and soul are vital ingredients to a healthy life. So let's get healthy. I'm Brendan Fallon. Please remember to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Did you know in a 12 ounce can of Coke, there's equivalent to 12 teaspoons of sugar? If you go in for one of those super size deals, you might be getting twice, three times, or even four times that amount. To have that super stimulating taste, Coke is packed with a lot of acids, citric acid, tartaric acid, carbonic acid. Carbonated soft drinks in general contain high levels of sugar or fructose corn syrup, artificial colors, flavoring, and preservatives. So what's the combined impact of this toxic concoction? Let's start with the sugar or fructose side. These substances are major causes of obesity. Coke is high on calories. It contains virtually no nutrients. So these are all empty calories you get from Coke. If you drink too much, you're going to gain weight. America has seen a marked rise in obesity over the past 40 years. Coke is a key factor in this. There are dozens of research reports showing this. Alongside obesity, fatty liver is also a sugar-related condition. Corn syrup in particular is a major culprit of fatty liver. Corn syrup, as you may know, is often used as a substitute for cane sugar. Corn is subsidized by the US government. This has made corn syrup cheaper than cane sugar for beverage companies. In the liver, corn syrup is turned into triglycerides. High triglyceride levels spell bad news for the liver. Getting back to sugar, sugar fatigues the body's pancreatic islet cells. Every time you drink something sugary, the body has to produce more insulin to bring the sugar level under control. Drinking high sugar over a long time means excessive insulin production. Thus the pancreatic islet cells get overworked. At the same time, muscle fat and liver cells can stop responding to the excess insulin. This can lead to insulin resistance. So Coke drinkers have a higher chance of getting diabetes and fatty liver. There was one study that looked at 90,000 women over eight years. It found those who drank one or more servings of Coke a day ran twice the risk of getting diabetes than those who didn't drink Coke. A doctor once told me a story that put me off drinking Coke. He said he used to go driving with a friend who started out very healthy. More and more, he'd see this guy with a big can of Coke with him in the car, to the point that he just always seemed to be drinking Coke. After a while, the doctor noticed his friend getting thinner and thinner. Meanwhile, his Coke drinking just got worse. Well, it turned out the reason he was losing weight was that he had diabetes. Eventually, he died of diabetes. Diabetes is a global epidemic. It's estimated that it kills 4.2 million people every year. Understandably, some people opt for artificial sweetness over sugar. They have no calories. There are plenty to choose from, like sucralose, saccharin, and aspartame. But artificial sweeteners aren't exactly safe as houses either. Studies have linked them to lupus erythematosus, multiple sclerosis, and glucose intolerance. Other studies have connected them to brain tumors, mood disorders, deceased mental function, migraines, and seizures. Now back to Coke. Just in case you're thinking to indulge in a glass of the black magic potion as you watch the rest of this show, let me tell you, Coke can cause dental damage and osteoporosis. Carbonated drinks are high in acid and sugar. Drinking too much can cause dental cavities or tooth decay. The acids in soft drinks can also corrode teeth's outer enamel shell. This enamel is the hardest substance of the human body, but it's no problem for soft drinks, especially the sweet black Enchantress to break it down. One study tested this on a cow's tooth. The tooth was soaked in coke for a week. Afterwards, they found obvious damage to its hard tissues. Then there's the phosphoric acid that's in soft drinks. This disrupts the absorption of calcium in our intestines. And with less calcium in the blood, the body will source it instead from the bones, thus weakening the bones. Research has shown a link between drinking coke and decline in bone density in women. The gravest danger linked to coke is cancer. 100 years back in America, one in 20 people would get cancer. Now it's one in three. Of course, many different lifestyle factors contribute to this, from pollution and stress to smoking and poor diet. Our diet is something we can generally adjust and improve though. Cutting out or at least cutting back on the bad stuff can save a lot of future heartache. Coke has caramel coloring. This is made of ammonium compounds. In the manufacturing process, sugar, ammonium compounds, and sulfites make a chemical called 4-methylamidazole or 2-methylamidazole. I know what you're thinking. 
sounds straight out of Breaking Bad, right? Not quite. But both of these chemicals can cause cancer, including liver and lung cancers. Coke also contains benzene, which is also a carcinogen. That aside, Coke drinkers are more at risk than others of getting rheumatoid arthritis. Maybe now you're thinking to kick the demon drink and wondering what a safer thirst quencher might be. What's a healthier alternative? Are other types of soft drinks viable? How do those impact health? Are there artificial sweeteners that won't leave you bitter and twisted? These are things we can explore in a future episode of Vital Signs. I'm Brendan Fallon. See you next time.